the Visual Studio Code extension that I wrote for writing Sysmon configuration files. The Sys this extension can be installed directly from the Visual Studio Code gallery. So if we go into extensions, we can search for the word Sysmon, and we will find this extension there, and it's just one click to install. Once you select the extension, you will see that I actually include some information, including some animations on some of the basic use of the extension itself, including a list of all of the different snippets that we can actually use inside of the extension for creating the files. So let's create a sample configuration file. I'll create it in, uh, with the extension .xml. You can also use the extension smc for sysmon configuration. Let's call it sysmon sample config.xml. So the configuration that I'm going to demo is one just a simple one that everybody does, which is for specifically in the case of monitoring LSS access. So I change my language mode to sysmon and let's do sysmon underscore config. Let's select the schema. So the latest 430. Algorithm shell one. Let's go into event filters. Let's create a rule group for process access. I normally create rule groups for each event type. Let's put a name so it's easily identifiable. Process access and the group relation, everything inside of it is going to be an or. Now let's create the include rule for uh, the LSAS filter that we're going to do. So let's do process access. This is going to be an include. After this, I'm going to create a single target rule for one single field. So the rule is going to be, let's call it uh, LSS axis and a group relation. Let's, let's go with or in this case, even though it's going to have only one single entry. Let's create a rule now and set a name for it. This is the name that will be used for the events. So let's go for target image. So the target image is going to be uh, LSAS.exe, the executable. I'm going to put the entire path. So the condition is going to be is. As you can see, we can select uh, from all the different types of supported uh, conditions. So let's type here, see Windows System32, LSAS.exe. Now, in a regular Windows environment, this tends to be very noisy, so I'm going to create an exclude for this, so I can exclude most of the noise here. So let me go by memory here, and let's just create another event type. So let's do uh, process axis, and this time I'm going to do an exclude. Now, typically, Sysmon processes all of the different fields in the order as they appear in the schema. So I have a snippet that will actually just put them all in that same order. So it's easier for you to visualize and create the filters inside of rules. So let's, in this case, create a, another rule. Set a name. Let's call it exclude noise. Relationship is going to be an and in this case. Everything has to match for the event to be excluded. As you can see here, we pasted all of the different fields in the order as they appear in the schema. In this case, I don't need the source thread ID. Um, I don't need the call trace either. Uh, we're going to be filtering by granted access and source image. in this example. So the, let's do a condition. Let's do contains any. In this case, we're going to specify kind of like the biggest noise makers are going to be um, svchost.exe. 
the other one is WMI PR VSC. Another one is going to be Task Manager. Since this exclude is specific to LSAS, uh, for this example, let's do that the target image is C Windows System 32 LSAS. Uh, if no condition specified, so this one assumes that the operator is going to be an S. It's not XE. Now, typically all of this use a very common rented access code. So let's do contains uh, any. And let's add the common access codes that I know by memory. Let's start with 0x. 1400, 0x1000, zero 0x4, uh, no, 1410. I'll probably a couple. We can add those later as uh, we look at our events. We make this a bit more descriptive. Say this is specific for LSS access. Apply this configuration. Let's verify the configuration. So we can see that's the configuration that we want. Let's go into the event viewer. Nothing captured yet. I did a clear before starting. I have a filter specific for process access. So let's create a memory dump with Task Manager. Like let's let's check if something first generated any noise that I probably missed. I did miss one zero x two zero zero. So let's add this one. The other ones were filtered properly. Copy. Now let me add this to the config. Now let's create a dump for LSS. See if we're able to capture that malicious. Um, first let's apply it, and then we can check if we can capture that malicious behavior. All right. And no other events so far. Let's open Task Manager again. Let's look for the LSAS process. Let's see where it is. Let me sort by name. L. Uh, local security 3 process. Let's create a dump. Normal attacker technique. Let's see if we're able to capture this malicious behavior. And here we go. Yep. So we can see task manager 0x1. F, F, F. So I hope you find this information useful. I hope you like the extension. This is just a simple example of what you can do with it. I wrote it to aid uh, blue teams and researchers alike. And thank you. And all feedback on the extension is welcome.